Hey everyone, hope you guys are having a great day. Um, my name is Vonneth and today I'm going to be talking about Hoffman coding. So Hoffman coding is a compression algorithm that's used for many different things. A compression algorithm is basically a way of making a file smaller. We're going to be using a text file because it's a lot easier to use. So this is the text I have here. I know it's not a real word, let's just go with it. Um, so basically, you're going to notice that what we want to do is convert this into a bunch of zeros and ones that the, that the computer will understand and be able to decode whenever, right? So this should be a code of zeros, ones, it can be whatever, right? But basically, we've got to find a way to code it. So what I have here now is the letters in the actual text and the frequency of each letter. So I'm going to have seven A's, five B's, one C, two D's, and one Z. And in total, we have 16 characters, right? So what we start off by doing is we number each item starting from zero, just for simplicity. I'll explain why later. And now we're going to convert that to binary. So if you don't want to convert decimal to binary, that's a, that's a topic for another video. If you want a video on that, just let me know. Okay. So we have our text and we have our code, right? So A is zero, B is one, C is one zero, and so on, so on and so on. So if we actually try to write this all together right now, what we're gonna get is, so let's try it. A, B, C, those are the first two, three letters. So let's try it. A, B, C. So the issue that we have now is that this can be interpreted in many different ways. It can be A, B, C for sure. But you can also see this one zero of C as also being just B, A, right? So we can actually have A, B, B, A, ABBA. And um, we don't want that. We don't want any ambiguity when we're working with this, right? So what we do to avoid that is we make sure to have the rest of the bit. So if it's zero, we're going to have three digits here. So three bits actually. 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0. And now you're going to notice that if we try to use this, so 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, you're going to notice that they're separated by three bits. Now the issue is that even though it's small, it's still not optimal. We can actually see the bit size here by calculating it. So we know that A has takes three bits. B, C, D, Z, they all take three bits each. There's seven A's and each A takes three bits so that we know three times seven is 21 bits. You could also just do three times 16 because we know that there's 16 characters and each one takes three bits, which is just 48 bits. So the way you know how many bits you need is it's basically going to be two to the power n of something. For example, if you have two characters, let's say a and b. So if we have a and b and we need to write it in a way using bits, we count how many items we have. So we have two characters here and we need to find a number to the power two that will suffice this, right? So in this case, it would just be two, right? Two to the power one. So that means we only need one bit because the power tells us how many bits we need, right? So if we have one bit, that means it could be either zero or one. And we can write A is equal to zero, B is equal to one, and we're done, right? But let's say we add a third character, let's say C, right? All of a sudden, what could C equal with one bit? Because we already took zero, we already took one. There's no way of doing it. So what we do is we, we use the next power to two, right? So two to the power two is gonna be four, right? And we can see this by having two bits right here. So zero and one, zero and one. And we're gonna have four different combinations now. We're gonna have zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one, right? And even though we don't need four, we always go up, right? So this can be A, this can be B, this can be C. And if we have another value that we never need, it could be one, one, right? Uh, basically what we wanna do is just find two to the power something. So in this case, we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five different things. So we're gonna have to do two to the power three, which is eight, because two to the power two is four and it's not enough. 
that's why we need three bits here. So even though we don't use every single combination of bits, we, we still have enough to make it work. Okay, so what I've done here is I just made a set with all the characters and their frequencies right beside them, colon separated, right? So we know that A has seven, B has five, and so on and so on. So this is how the Hoffman algorithm works. First, we take the two smallest frequencies. So in this case, we're gonna have Z, and we're also gonna be using C. And what we're gonna do is make a binary tree where C and Z are siblings. So we're gonna have C, one here. We're gonna have Z, one here. And we're gonna, we're gonna add these up to a single node and the node is gonna have the sum of the two frequencies, which is two. Now all of a sudden we have a new element in the set, which is two, right? And we can represent that as CZ. So now we have A7, B5, D2, CZ2. D and CZ are the smallest values in this case because it has a frequency of two, so it has a frequency of two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna join these and they're gonna be siblings now. So these are gonna be siblings with set Z. It's gonna be the, it's gonna be siblings with the node that's the parent for both of these nodes. So D, we can actually just write here. D would be here. And now we're gonna have the sum of these two frequencies. So set Z is two, D is two, two plus two is equal to four. So we're gonna have four all the way up here. And this is gonna be our tree for now. So we know that B and CZD are the smallest values now. And by the algorithm, this means that B is gonna be siblings with CZD. So the parent node is gonna be the sum of these two. So we know that it's gonna be five plus four is equal to nine. So all we do now is make space for B and we put the sum of nine on top. And this is the final set. We only have two values left, so they're obviously gonna be the smallest ones. And we add the two. So A is gonna be siblings with this node right here, the nine. So if this is a tree, what we're gonna do is put A here and we're gonna add the sum again. So it's gonna be seven plus nine is equal to 16 and 16 is gonna be at the top here. So we finally constructed this tree and we call this tree the Huffman tree. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna left we're gonna label every single left branch as a zero and the right ones as a one. Zero, 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 one, 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 one. And we're gonna get each, we're gonna label each code as a path to get there from the root, right? So from, if you wanna go from 16 to A, you're gonna go one. If you wanna go from 16 to B, you're gonna go zero, one. For D, it's gonna be zero, zero, one. And so you get it. If you repeat these steps for every single one, you're gonna have this legend right here. If we actually try to write the sequence A, B, C, like we did before, we're gonna write one, zero, one, and then C is zero, 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 zero. So one, off the top, we only know that one character starts with one, which is gonna be A. So we know that that's gonna be A, zero, one. So there's no zero in the sequence, right? There's only zero, one. So we take that and we know that's supposed to be B. And this is gonna be C. So there's no ambiguity, which is perfect. So I made a table right here just to make it a lot easier. And we have our letters, our frequencies, the bit, and the total bit size. So I just copied the legend right here and we just put it down here in just more of a simple, easy to understand way. And a is one bit now. So the total number of bits it takes is gonna be seven times one. B, it's gonna be five times two because there's two bits, zero and one, right? For C, it's zero, 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 so you're gonna have four. For D, you're gonna have two times three. And Z, you're gonna have four again. If we add these up, we should get 31 bits. And you're gonna see that the original, since the original size was 48 bits, you've compressed it by 35%. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, if you know a friend who might find this helpful, please send it to them. And uh, comment down below if you want me to teach anything else. And yeah, that's it. Take care.